Hey crafty friends, welcome to the old paper lady. I'm Lori, if you're new here. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate you for uh, deciding to click on the video and watch today. I hope you stick around. Hope we do something somewhat entertaining. A little bit of educational. I've had a, had a pretty good day today. Well, I cut that a little short, didn't I? Well, that's all right. We'll just put it right there. It'll be just fine. So my day was all right until I sat down here tonight to just try to shoot a video. <laughs> so far, I got body slammed up against my desk and busted in the mouth because my chair. Uh, you know, like sometimes the the chairs will, you know, when you lean back in them, they they lean a little too far back. Well, that's what happened. It, it just leaned plumb back, and I don't know how it gets done that way. I I, I don't know. I thought there was some kind of little thing that you could flip on it to keep it from doing that. And I sat down here and went to slide it around, and it just goes like that and flip me over and smack my face on the corner bust my lip then uh, one of the wheels wheeled around hit me in the ankle so yeah that was fun <laughs> not really but yeah I was like man I just don't even need to sit down here and shoot a video the chair done said no <laughs> I really just, I don't know, I'm just tired today. I haven't felt well. I haven't really done a whole lot. I don't know what, what the, the rhyme or reason for this thing to do this is. I really don't. And I know y'all are just like, lady, go get you a chair and shut up about it. You know. But I don't have the funds to just go buy a chair. So, I thought I would try to make a few little strawberry tags here. I was trying to make some little belly band-ish type tags for them. Or, um, a tag with a belly band. That's what I'm trying to say. I honestly didn't really know what I wanted to do when I sat down here. Because I, I just sat down and got body slammed. So, I was just like, well, maybe I don't need to do nothing. <laughs> Because the chair said not to do nothing. You're, don't set me, get up, you know. But, I don't know. I just need a minute's peace, you know what I mean? I just need to do something creative other than set my own thoughts sometimes, you know what I mean? So, it ain't it really been an eventful day until I decided I wanted to shoot a crafting video. Everything's been going fairly fine today. Hope everybody else has had a good day. This is uh, Sunday evening. I know this will be y'all's Monday video. And I may sound a little bit nasally. Because I've been crying. <laughs> As you know, it hurt the initial, you know, busting your, that chair, busting your ankle bone, and then busting your, your mouth up against your, your craft table. And unluckily, it didn't flip everything over because I was like, you know, did it bust all my lights or is anything broke? <laughs> then I was like, ow, my ankle hurts. <laughs> I was like, oh no, my lip's bleeding. <laughs> so. I guess I need to quit talking junk about my chair so it don't body slam me no more. <laughs> oh, man. That is just is too good. Because, you know, if you watch me regular, you all know the, the ongoing saga of the weekend chair. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, I, I and shoot today, I've sat here, I've cut all kinds of stuff on this Brother Scanning Cut, y'all. I love that thing. I really do. 
and uh I was, I was like, I think that's what it is. I've been, I've crafter overload because I was like, I don't, I'm not creative right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then, you know, the chair is fine. Fine and dandy. Just, you know, it ain't done nothing to me all day. I just swivel around, cut the stuff, swivel back and get up and go over there and get my cutter, you know, whatever. But, phew. So, yeah, you're a regular. You know the saga of the of the crafty chair it like it it likes to uh attack me on the weekends like them's gonna be plump cute y'all i like that so i'm gonna set them in here let them dry a little bit i am gonna show y'all a few things that i did do today <coughs> excuse me like i said i'm a little clammed up i'm sorry y'all it, it did hurt <laughs> So I got on Etsy and I went uh, to uh, close to our heart to heart. I started to say close to my heart. Lord, they closed. Heart to heart. Uh, Etsy shop. They had uh, some little farmhouse strawberry bits. And in this journal we're going to do, it's got the little uh, picnic cloth and that in it and i said that that'd be plum cute to go with that you know little farmhouse themed stuff so i got them and that's where i got them from and then this is uh it's got some strawberry stuff in it but i thought these uh backgrounds and that these will float over the cherry parts but i thought these uh reminded me of like the old the old wallpaper you know what i mean so i was like that would be cute and pretty in here and i didn't print all of these it had um like 17 pages there's like five or six of these envelopes and such i didn't print you know because i was just like you know I, I think that's enough ephemera i mean really but you could use these in multiple journals you know that Tulip Journal Spring. And then you got this Red Roses Rose Journal Spring. You know, and then uh, like I said, what is that Damas type thing with the, the wallpaper and that? And it had uh, it even had poppies. So if you see here on the pool, it had has poppy stuff in it. So I was like, that all kind of goes along with the the the. The farmhousey type theme. So I printed them off. You see, there's a enclosed pocket in that. So had pockets, tags, and um, envelopes. And it was at um, Ink and Paper Journals Etsy shop. If you see right here in the corner, Ink and Papers Journals. Ink and page, read the read the words. Ink and page journals. Ink and page journals. Ink and papers. You knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to my defense, I did take a headshot before I click record. <laughs> Alrighty, so the I got those to go with our kit that we put together and then uh yeah all the femur bits and that cut out for a kit so pretty much basically all we got to do is fold this and uh get the cover fixed up all that's going to be so pretty with that farmhouse stuff and then you know the strawberry pieces that we uh might use some to make some tags in that with is from um the cozy it's cozy strawberry is the name of the kit and it is from l's art design right there on etsy so i am trying to do better with when i print a kit and um try to print the cover page of it so you have the name of it you know so that way I'm not like now these here I didn't do that and I still didn't I didn't print them all off it's just you know some uh, 
background pages of, of uh, and I just ran them through and put pink on the back because I want to use these for tags and journal cards. So I thought those would be pretty to go with this journal as well. So I think what I'm going to do is try to cut these up, figure out what what we want on tags and what we want for journal card bits and uh, get that done. And then I think we'll need to fix our cover figure out what we want to do with the cover and uh, fold the papers and we should be able to put it together, ink it up and put it together. And there's a fly, I can't stand flies. So normal, because our pages folded are five and a half inches. So when I do a pocket, I need to measure it to be at less than five and a half inches. So I'll put this on here. And I think this is gonna make me a fairly good pocket right here. So it'll cut right there. And I think that would be a pretty pocket. Put a little, um, we can put a little ephemera piece on it. We can take it, we can put, uh, what's them labels? <laughs> Oh, the words are going to be really bad tonight with the, with the face shot before I sit down. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, we can do that. And then that'll be, I'll cut down to here and over. And then this can be a nice size journal card because I want that whole piece there for a journal card. And then we can have these pieces as tags. So, that's kind of how I go about cutting down like a a full size sheet and we can even go up to uh, five and one fourth because I want that whole strawberry bit in there and I'm just going to come down to right about here and then I'm going to cut right at the top of that flower because I want all of this right here yep there we go and if any of you are wondering how I just did that let me show you on most of your cutters pretty much all of your cutters if you see it has the little indention right here on your cutter so you have one on the top one right here, and then you have them on the sides that shows you where it is actually cutting. Whoops, I hit the I hit the record thing. So you have one here where it shows you actually where your line is, and then right there where the center piece is of your cutter. So lining those up, you can tell where to stop on your cut line. So, yep, yeah, so that's gonna be well, I don't think I got enough. Let's use it as a journal card. Shoot. We printed on it. Let's do tags and journal cards. I don't know what I was doing for a pocket. I'm going to put us a label on that. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this one up and get it, get it done. All right. So, I'm going to flip it around here this way. How long is, how big is that going to be? It should be five, five and a quarter. Let's just go on over here to where we had started originally cutting and just go right on down the rest of that. I should have did that to start with. I don't know what I was thinking about. So there's this a big journal journal card. Put some labels and dress it up a little bit. How long is that? And we should make us a belly band with that, shouldn't we? That would be pretty as a belly band. And then take and make us a journal card out of this piece right here. Make us a big old journal card out of that piece. See that behind it? With the It's strawberry paper, but it's contrasting strawberry colored paper. I like that. That's 
good idea, y'all. Good idea. All right, so we need to cut it down. We cut these uh, limmy bits off. Limmy bits. Tree bits. Well, you know, we can cut them off. So our paper is at eight and a half tall. So let's do eight and a half tall. And let, that's what we got left out of that. So that's going to be... That's going to be our belly band, and we'll glue it here and here. And then we want to take, and I'm going to cut this piece. Whoopsie, slide it over. We'll take and cut this right here, right underneath that strawberry to about right here. Just past that and cut this piece out. So what I did was I just flipped my blade up, left my knife in the same position that I stopped over here. And I should be able, and I'm measuring this cut with, with the measure up here. So right now it is six and seven eighths. And I want it to go to seven inches cause this is this belly band will comfortably glue down behind that, see? And then we'll have plenty of room to get that in and out. So I'm gonna go to seven and one eighth. Then cut. best to sink my blade in there and cut that somewhat straight. There we go. And I know a lot of a lot of folks do know about you know the little guides on your cutters and that a, a lot of folks don't now I didn't know for a very long time. Well I really didn't so then see, so then that's going to be our belly band and our journal card behind it. See, we'll put some labels and such on that, you know, dress it up a little bit. But, yep, pick it up. But I think that's going to be cute. So we got belly band. Journal card and journal cards. That would even be pretty with that behind that too. Even though it's the, from the same sheet of paper. You see what I'm saying? But I like the contrast of the of the pink. I like that. Okay. So those are journal cards, Billy Bands, journal cards. Let's put that in that box. Alrighty, now, since we've got this big journal card here, I think I'm going to do, I'll have a belly band for the front and a belly band for the back. So now I want to make belly band for this one. And I think this will be contrasting enough because this is darker colors and this is light. I know it may be a little matchy, but not as matchy. So I'm thinking I want to do this piece. I want this piece right here for my belly band. Maybe a little wide. Let's see how wide that is that going to be. So there is four inches. Yeah, that's going to be a good size belly band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay, let's cut that. Because see, then you have the strawberry bits over here. Let me flip you around. Gotta be mindful of which part that I want. Because if I just cut four inches, I may not have end up with the pieces that I want on it. That's gonna be an awful wide belly band, ain't it? Let's see what we're looking at with three inches. 
And I can save that flower and use it in something else. Because as long as I have this here, because I want from here up. I think that would be good. Yeah, let's do three inches. We'll have that piece to work with. So this will be our belly band upright. Let's cut this piece up here off. Let's put it at eight and a half. I really don't want to cut no more flower off of it than I have to. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trim this piece right here. So I keep my flower there and I'm gonna flip it around and put it at eight and a half right here. Because I was like, I'm going to cut half of that flower off, and I didn't want to do that. And so, there's our belly band for the back. And there's our journal card for it. That's going to be plum cute. That's going to be pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, belly band, front and back, journal cards for it. Now, what do we want to do with you? That's what we got left. How big are you? You are five and a half. <laughs> if we cut it in half, it would be five and a half. So let's just go to five and a half, cut it straight in half. We got five and a half by five and a half journal cards. There we go. And, yep, five and a half by five and a half journal cards. Let's see, which way should you go for a little bit? This way here? Or should we put you this way here? I don't know. Alright, there's two more big journal cards. Well, they're five and a half by five and a half. We need to trim them down. So they can be five and a half tall, but they can't be five and a half wide. They need to be under five and a half because our pages measure five and a half. I know somebody was uh, screaming that. I heard you. I sure did hear you. All right, I'm going to flip this around and cut this here because, you know, well, we could do that, but I don't want to lose that floral bit. Um, let's cut it over here. And this piece I'm cutting right here. We're just trimming a quarter of an inch off. I'm not, not, not nothing too much, you know, just a quarter of an inch. We're going to put them at five. And then we'll put these bits over here. And that's a little bit thicker cardstock, and I didn't push all the way down it. All right, so now these, I want to make tags out of this because it's, it's pretty much full, filled up. So I'm going to put it at three. Three and a quarter. Do three and a half. Three and a half. That makes six. And then we still have two and a half inch tags, right? So we should be able to do three and a quarter, three and a quarter, and almost right at uh, two and seven eighths. Why does that keep looking crooked to me? Maybe it's because the paper's rolling up. <clears throat> I think it's because the papers are rolling on me. Alright. So, I'm going to do three inches here. Cut them in half. We'll do five and a half. Really? Did I just, did I really just do that? Are you not 11 inches? Yeah, you are. So why did I, why is that? Oh, probably because you put it on six and a half, not five and a half. Knucklehead. 
That's all right. That's fine. We'll still use it as a tag. I don't care. <laughs> That's why you uh, measure and lick twice. You know, five and a half. And I was way over here at six and a half. Okay. And then we got our uh, background pages cut, cut up and cut down and what have you. our uh, corner rounded bits on these. Well, the way that looked, it looked like it was just plum crooked on the front, didn't it? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which way it needs to go now. <laughs> Holy. Let's just round the corner and stop messing with it. Just round the corner. Round the corners. And then do our tag cutter I almost decided to do pink with this and I was like no let's do because uh, these colors would be really pretty I did pink on the you know for like the back piece for uh, like the journal and bits to where you could write on and I was almost wanted to pull out a pink uh, ink to ink this journal stuff with and I was like no let's let's do vintage photo because it's form housey you know and you know we already gonna have the fufu on it with the, the lace and that and the, the cozy strawberry bits because I'm gonna put lace on pages on in this one I didn't do it in the shabby or the grungy one Cause I think these these pieces will look good with that vintage photo around it. I like it a lot. Hang on to your bits, sir. Piece pieces are flying every which way. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope everybody had a good Father's Day yesterday. I said it's still Sunday evening. Well, probably be Monday, early Monday morning now by the time I actually got to filming this. But I started not to shoot a video, then I said, no, let's go ahead and get one done. Let's just, just do it. <clears throat> Because I really did a whole lot in the craft room the last couple of days. I really have. And then I was just like, you know, sometimes when you do a lot of printing and uh, cutting and organizing and getting your bits together, you know, after you do all that, you're just like, I don't want to look at it no more for a day or so, you know. And that that's how I, I usually craft. I'll sit down and print, you know, two or three days cut up stuff and then that and get things ready to go and then I'm like all right I need a break from it so I said well when I do that I can't do that when I'm making videos every day <laughs> so then I was like well I still need to make ephemera pieces I still need to make tags I still need to do belly bands and stuff like that so and instead of doing it off camera I'm just gonna flip the camera on sit down here and get it done woman so that's what I did. And my eye, I had got something in it yesterday. I don't know what the heck's in it. It keeps like uh, running, you know, like it keeps watering up. And it keeps having matter in it. And I've washed it out with uh, allergy eye drops. I've washed it out. You know, with regular eye drops, I've washed it out with saline water, and I just, I don't know. It 
it just keeps and then plus two you know like i said the yard was mowed yesterday and then the neighbor over here has been working and doing stuff in his yard so i don't know and then i normally i'm outside long enough to get in the car and outside long enough to get back in the house but i was outside for a little bit yesterday not a whole whole lot but a little bit and then uh so now to the to you know last started last night around supper time and uh, I was sitting at the table and I thought something got in my eye at the table and I was just like it just ain't coming out it's just not coming out of my eye you know so then that uh, yeah I woke up this morning and it was mattered up and I don't know so. I took some allergy pills. And I think that's what my problem was. I took allergy pills and I got lazy and wanted to lay down. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they'll be okay if I don't put a video up. It's Father's Day. They probably ain't nobody watching it no way, you know. But I was like, well, actually, no, it's not Father's Day. It's the Monday after Father's Day. So they will be watching it. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's how I was talk myself out of and back into shooting a video <laughs> and then when I sat down I was like yeah this is a straight sign that I shouldn't have done one because the cheer body slammed me in the floor and busted my lip and bruised my ankle up so yeah I, I shouldn't have sat down here the chair said so <laughs> I don't know. sometimes you know like you have a lot going on you have a lot on you just keep going and going and going and then it's like uh, stuff catches up to you and everyone's and you just you just catch yourself and you just like i've been doing too much i've been doing a lot i really have you know and then you just gotta have yourself a little cry spell a little pity party by yourself to yourself and you feel better well my chair and induced my pity party cry party because <laughs> it, it really hurt my ankle and my mouth. And then uh, I was just like, I can't do nothing right. I can't have nothing. I can't do nothing right. Nothing goes right. I mean, I'm working so hard. I'm trying so hard. You know, I just need a few things. Why can't nothing go my way? You know, <laughs> I was like, and then I was just you know, let it out, and I said, suck it up, let's go, woman, what's wrong with you, get up, quit that mess, but yeah, that's what happens, my self-pity parties, I know I don't look at the mirror and do all that, and I, you know, I'll sit here in my bathroom, just be like, what is wrong, why can't I do nothing right, you know, and then, <laughs> And then I was seriously like, what is the matter with you? Quit that boohoo and get up, you know. And it's like, it's like the the good angel and the bad angel, you know, the little cartoons. Yeah, it, that's what goes on. I'm like you just suck at suck at crying up, get up from there and get yourself together. You stronger than that. So, but yeah, it was a. Uh, was it like you know emotional stress thing yesterday was emotional and, and stress and then i guess where i the chair was like you thought you was gonna craft <laughs> no you ain't and then that just you know uh the physical hurt and just all of the everything <laughs> it all came out at once and i was just like i can't do nothing i can't have nothing <laughs> but yeah that's poor pitiful me oh, whatever oh that's gonna be pretty y'all look at that i like that so we got front and back belly bands and journal uh journal cards i hadn't done belly bands in a bit and we don't really do need to do much to them i would like to put some uh some label bits on them what time is it what have we got on here 34 minutes okay let's let's dress these up a little bit Finish, you know, finish them up. All right. 
this is tags, journal cards. These are scrippy scraps. I know you try to use, no, I don't need enough on that to do that. We just put it in the scrap box and push. Let's get these. Oh, look, I didn't even finish cutting yet. <laughs> Knucklehead, maybe you didn't even finish cutting that. What are we going to do with it? Make us some skinny tag. I don't know. There ain't really no good strips on that to do nothing much with. We make a tag there. Not really. Yeah, that would have to be a really big tag with something down it here. Alright, let's cut that. Oops. Sorry, y'all. I got ahead of myself. I went to pick up my, uh, my Tim Holtz ephemera box over here. And I was like, shoot, I didn't even finish cutting that. <laughs> so that's where I laid it at. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Now, if we need to, we can use these bits if we needed. But I don't think we're going to. I know I want the flower piece here. I'm going to cut just right at the top of that. Just cut it at five and a half because then that'll give you the flower here and the strawberries down here. And we can use them. Did I do six and a half again? No. Oh, that's right. I cut that strip off of it. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy as a loon, I tell you. Alright. So, yeah, we can use them as journal cards. Shoot. Yeah. Put some stuff there. You notice how, like, I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, yeah, it's, it needs something here. And Yeah. That, that's why I was like, maybe, because I did have a few people like him. You know, how do you decide where, you know, when you put, um, when you make your ephemera, how do you decide what, you know, where you put your labels, what, if you need a label or, you know, something like that. And I, that's, that's it. If there's, you know, pretty bits here and there's a naked place, that's where labels going to go most of the time. And you don't want it too busy, busy, but you don't want a whole big spot. It looks unfinished basically and then you know this right here you got floral bits here and as a design here so then you can take and put you a piece of music page here or book page you know you could put take entire strip of music page and put it down and then put you a line of music here with a butterfly or a strawberry or you know something on that and that would that would, yeah stuff like that so you can take your uh there's a lot of seamless uh, eight and a half by eleven uh, digitals that I, I was looking at, and I was like, well, you know, all of them are uh, they're not horizontal; they're uh, vertical. So you know that means that the print runs tall ways, not long ways. So when the print runs tall ways like this. You can take and cut them down to make your ephemera pieces. You know, there's all of our tags and journal cards, belly bands, you know, and get you, uh, get you some, uh, good, uh, labels. You can print labels off. You can buy labels. You know, Timu has labels. They got this little label book that I found, you know, for a really good price, really decent, cheap price. You know, you can do that. I think I am going to go ahead and just make these into tags. Why not? Just do it. Just do it. I'm going to do the small, small rounder. Because I don't want to take a whole chunk. Then you'll be like, what's that red blob down there in the corner? <laughs> just because it's got the, the strawberry uh, flower bloom stuff on it then we can use it so like I can take and put this down and this and then have that if 
think that'd be a cute little set. Or we can take and do this with it. Do something like this and put it in a pocket. You know what I mean? That's cute. Mix and match, mix and match. I like to have, uh, that's why I said I like to have options. I like to have the dark and the light contrasting colors. I think it makes it pretty. And I didn't ink around them yet. Well, yeah, I don't know why I put this glue mat thing back over here. I'm not messing with nothing I need to glue right yet. I think it's just because I was trying to get to my ephemera box. Pick it up. Get out of my face. Okay. Alrighty. So we've done quite a smart a bit right here, y'all. I mean, and sometimes it is this simple. Uh, you ink your thumb and your, and your pinky while you're opening your ink up, and there you go, you're set. You're a journal maker. <laughs> but, you know, um, these tags I did first here, these were the cutoffs from my other journal, the, the ribbon. Uh, I stamped, the, I cut these out of uh, vanilla, or not vanilla, good gracious, vanilla folders or um, cream cardstock stamped on them with a vintage photo and then I made I made those into a digital for myself and print them whenever I need just you know script basic tag backgrounds so that's how it, yeah that's simple these here I took and printed uh, printed a uh, background just a, a eight and a half by eleven background paper and then I just backed it with the solid so you know to cut them apart journal cards tags belly bands <clears throat> it's just I mean you know it's fairly fairly simple to you know and then you just sit down and cut them up and make your pieces out of you know where the uh where the florals or the fruit or what it have you is on that particular paper and that, that deems what I make into what. So like this, you know, it has the uh, the strawberry blossoms on it. So then I need to dress it up a little bit because it has a big old place over here that there's nothing on. So then I can write on the back of it. And I don't know what I did with and I swear y'all I thought I got me some uh ow my ankle I thought I got some some of those uh strawberry bits I oh, didn't mean to stick my whole noggin in the video but I thought I got some strawberry stickers I really did I don't know. I'm not going to mess in this box. So I got to be through it. And let's just use this sticker book right here for right now. And just, you know, do some simple, simpleness. Just keeping it simple. All right. So here we got this journal card and tag set off of that paper that we cut apart. Let's move that out of your way so we ain't focusing on that. Let's focus on these. All right. So we need... Some kind of label here in the middle. Focus. Focal point. Focus point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Help me. So we need a focal point. <laughs> and I think I'm going to put this little label on there. Look, it's a little doggy. It's cute, ain't it? And it don't have to be any particular color, rhyme, or reason. See, I can put that there, but I want to put something else behind it. I want to put something up there. 
Let's see if we can't find this a tall sticker bit. See, like that would be good right here, the bird. That would be cute on there, and that would be cute on there. Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's take a look. See here. Look at here. What we just been, what we just did. I mean, I know it's pink on pink. So my chair loaded me down. So now I feel like I'm looking over here like this. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, something that simple right there on that is going to be cute up here. You know, just something. I like that. That's cute. It looks crooked. The whole thing looks like it's cut crooked, actually. Pick it up. See, something as simple as that. I mean, really. It's not it's not that hard. But some days, it really is hard to sit down and be like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And this needs that and this needs this. You know, it. some days, it does. It, 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 it doesn't come. I mean, it really don't. Oh, that would be cute on this this little um, tag here and I know you can't see these sticker bits that well let me just put you right here see and that presses that tag up I didn't mean to just you know zoom it in but I'm trying to and that's cute. I like that. I want something else on this. And see, this is why I like my chair to be up above it so I can look down on it and you all still see it. I'm trying to get that on there straight. And I don't know what else it is that I want on it, but I know I want something else on it. I'm actually thinking about putting this floral bit right here on there. That would be pretty. Like it's coming out from behind that. Yeah. Ooh, that did turn out cute, didn't it? I like that. See? I like that a bit. I would like to have a little bitty number here. I know there's some Tim Holtz little bitty numbers. Or one of these little, little bitty things like that. See, that's too big. So that would be cute down here. Maybe that's too much on it. I'm going to put that right there. I'm just going to stand up so I can see. I'm just moving you out of the way. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm just going to move you over here. Please don't body slam me in the floor again. I guess my chair said I needed an attitude adjustment. I don't know. <laughs> oh, now I'm headbutting that the ring light. Yeah, I don't really know about that. I think that would be cute right here. 
It's a faux, and I'm I'm having to bend down, but it's a faux postage stamp or a postcard. I think that would be pretty right there. Or right, I'm gonna take it because where it runs off and it's broken, I'm gonna put it like right up against the side. like that. Yeah, and do that with it. I like that. Okay. So I want to use this little bit. I really want that right there. There's something small there. I thought about maybe that right there or over here. I don't know. Nope. Nope. And that's French. I don't, want, I don't want French stuff on there. Oh, look, here we go. This is cute, too. I'm going to turn this one into a, a, a so called vintage postcardy thing. This, uh, I am glad that I'm standing up because, you know, I think I did just put that plum crooked. It's like, I am glad I'm standing up so maybe I won't put everything on it crooked. <laughs> and I just put that slap crooked. That would be cute there. Let me get my glue and put that on there. And I still want something up here. Put this postage stamp up there. And that would be cute. Oh, now my glue don't want to work. Bless it. And then, too, I get carried away once I get into it. And then I'm, you know, running long in the tooth and making a two hour long video. <laughs> Well, sometimes it does, you know, take you a little bit of time to get into it. Like, you know, we had to cut and ink and shape them up and, you know, all of that first before we got to the decorating bits. And let's make sure this is not upside down. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is cute right there. I like that. Give me the stamp. I think I'm going to put the stamp this away here. And I do have the little faux stamper bit thing. I think I actually got it blocked up. Stamp on it. Well, we'll see. What's this here say? Let me look and see. I don't like what that says. Arrival approved. Boom. Stamp it right there. I was like, what do I do with my ink? Put it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be cute. There we go. Shut up. Look at that. That is plum cute. Let's do this one here. I like that. Like I said, you know. Heck yeah. And I need to get me another one of these little ones to get, you know, like that, the wavy line. I got a couple of them different sizes. I want to get another one of them for that. And I don't have a stamp off over here. Let's just wipe it off. But yeah, I want to get... A few more of them for, you know, just that little stuff like that. I think that's adorable. Had me a little box of, you know, like a 
approved like that's you know rival approved is it in the camera and then I, I have the wavy bits make that be cute I think that's done I don't know about putting anything else there I thought about putting something else here, but I think that's enough. I probably should have moved that up a little bit more, but I think that's okay. That and that's done. These two here are done. I don't think I'm going to put anything else on that. These are quite busy in their self. Yeah, them are quite busy in and of their self. This one here. It would be cute to have a little something there, a little label of some sort. Oh, that's pretty. What's that? Austin's form flower. Oh, wait, let's put a little butterfly on that. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? A little butterfly that's landing on the flower a bit there and I know that's white around it but it's pollinating the flower now I gotta measure these like right, that's five and that's five. That's how they go in the book. Because remember, our pages are five and a half. So this way here, they're five and a half. Remember, we cut them like that. So they, we have to, we got to uh, dress them up or uh, decorate them this way. Because they're five for our journal cards. So that way they don't, uh, they don't go in, uh, in the book and be upside down. That's pretty as a bird. That'd be pretty on a tag piece. What is this? I can't see that. Because I was really thinking about just putting this black and white flower uh, number piece on one of these right here. Just putting it right there. I like that. And then here's this another butterfly. I can just put it down here in the green. Still want something up here, though. <laughs> that would be a cool tag, too. Well, let's put a number piece on that one, too. Whoops. Oops, that is crooked as crooked could be. I think I got it stuck, stuck on there too. Yeah, that was plum crooked, crooked. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm headbutting the, uh, the camera. There we go. 
like that. Then you can still, you know, if you want to, you can write around it. So we'll just dress them up a little bit. I like this thing. This is cute. I want to get me some more of these. I mean, you can do a lot with the with the stuff that's in here. I mean, you really can. I don't like that a lot. I mean, that is just really neat. I like them so much. Those are cool. I gotta give me some more of them. All right, let me quit talking about what I gotta buy. And uh, put my rolling cart over here out of the way. And let's see. How long have we been on? Uh, right at an hour. Okay, no, so we did a lot today, y'all. So, let's get it all out of here. All right. So, here's what we got. We did, uh, what was it, three, four pages of uh, background uh, printed background prints of uh, strawberry paper. That I found a digital one, but I cannot remember where I got it from. But I'll about try my best to get it. Uh, so we cut them. These are going to be uh, journal cards. We started off with making these uh, tags that we had stamped and made out of uh, cardstock and put the uh, cutoffs of the uh, ribbon. Made two of those, and that's a belly band. So see, look. So then you could slide your that little tag in that, like that. So see, I'm, like, I'm trying to hold on to it. My chair keeps letting me take on it, but yeah. So that goes in that, like that. So then we made belly bands, and then we made the journal cards to go on them. I still want to put something on here and I may come back because these I don't feel this one's uh you know other than maybe like a dark number or something on it somewhere that's pretty good but this one here I still want to put something here maybe up here but these are our belly bands with our journal cards for the front and the back this is front and back and then that is front and back so we're already starting on our front and back piles, see? So there's front and back. Whoopsie. So then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tags made and decorated up and cut out, inked around. So we're there. Two in the front, two on the back, one in the front, one in the back. And then we got two journal cards that stamped them, made them look like postcards. Love that. One in the front, one in the back. Then we got two pink uh, tag pieces, which these would actually go better on them. Look at this here. There you go. Oh, is it going to fit? I may have to trim it off just a hair. Nope, nope, it'll fit. Yep, so there we go, front and back of them. And then we got this uh, journal card piece here that we made. So, I mean, we made a bunch of ephemera today, y'all, in an hour's time. I may have to trim that one short enough. We'll have to snip the top. Oh, I put too much glue on it. That's okay. But, yeah, so then, even if you can still do it like that. But yeah, so this is a uh, front and back stash already starting up. So, I mean, we made a bunch of ephemera today. That's a lot of pieces that we cut out, inked up, and decorated. I mean, I think that's the most I've ever made in setting and, you know, on camera or off camera in an hour, to be honest with you. With sitting down here, getting body slammed and <laughs> busted lip and bruised up ankle by my chair before the video started. Maybe that's what it was. I needed to get attitude adjustment and get myself together so I could film a video. <laughs> we done, we done a, a lot, y'all. Thank you so much for coming along with me today, putting up with my craziness and my antics of uh, 
fussing about my chair. You know, it ain't a video on the weekend if I ain't fussed about my chair. So, there we go. But, yeah, it, it really beat me up today. So, yeah, I am so happy with that. I, that is awesome. Y'all have a good week uh, ahead. And uh, try to enjoy yourself a little bit in your craft room. And, and don't cause too much trouble with the, your shenanigans and uh, decorating up and doing simple, simple. Now I feel like I'm, I'm looking up at you. But, I mean, that's the simplest as you can get. And just look how pretty it is. I mean, really, that it, it's that simple. I, I love that stuff. But thank y'all. Y'all have a good week. Uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow.